finished up the BFS shootout and ended up with over 40 minutes of film. So I'm probably going to condense it down and maybe in either the parts or maybe not even make one and just put this up to where you can see what the results were. But overall, the Zonda Rosso with just the Mega Bass BFS spool seemed to be the easiest to cast and got the average best distance, but the Kasugi spool or the BF8 Abu Garcia were right there. And then also, I went back and redid the Alpha's Air because it seemed to be lagging a little, but actually I found that it, it can cast what I was casting with the little lighter drag setup overall, so I could basically just back that drag clicker off. I think it was a click. I don't think it was two. I think it was just one, and I was almost getting the same distances, but as you can see, it said uh, two ounces, or two grams, sorry, but I jumped it up to the two gram. I could throw about as far as the three gram. The three gram was probably almost as far as the TRD, not quite as far. TRD was actually the same. I don't know why, but the and that's what I found with the. It's like all three of the Daiwa reels, even though they had three different spools. You know, one from Mega Bass, the Kasuji Works, and the you know Air. They seem to be about the same. They would cast. Lighter stuff, maybe overall better than the BF8, but then when it comes to the bigger stuff, they that's when the BF8 just seems like the whether it be the shaky head, the turd, or the shrooms, it's like it's hard to explain to unless you cast the lighter stuff, is that you don't have to even put as much effort and it just sails on out to where the all the others that were they they still got about the same distance, but I felt like I had to, you know, give them a maybe a touch more or something. But if you and I've noticed over using all these is that if you think, well, I'll just back the brake off a little, then then I'd get like an overrun. So I can't explain, I guess, just how spools are designed with the braking. And they're all magnetic brakes, basically. But there's a shot of the, you know, just numbers. And that was the first run. And I went back and redid the air. And it, it actually jumped up to almost even with like the Mega Bass, not quite the distance but close and uh, the most consistent out of all of them though was the kasugi spool i hope i'm pronouncing that right could be way off and it uh two of the baits went 75 foot 180 and then two of the others 55 i mean it was as far as the all of them clustered together you know if i guess we were shooting a gun it would be the most accurate of the bunch but for just out distance is what I was shooting for. It's actually surprised me. I thought the BF8, and I, I think why I like the BF8 better. I I mainly sh throw that shaky head, and I it's kind of a hard that seven inch, you know, last tech is way it's straight. It's hard to throw that thing with lightweight jig head. So it seemed that the the BF8 Revo just did it better than the other ones. And that's probably why I liked it better, but after out there casting with all of them, I felt way more comfortable. With, of course, I've thrown a lot, the, uh, you know, Mega Bass reel, the Zonda Rosso. So, anyway, hope you liked this little short vid on explaining the BFS shootout challenge. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel.